Hello YouTube, in this video I want to show you my MIDI controller device to control uh, FL Studios uh, play pause record and stop controllers uh, as you know if you are watching this video you wanted to control FL Studios play pause uh, stop uh, buttons with your generic or custom or special made uh, MIDI control device uh, you can control um, uh, almost anything with your uh, MIDI controller I want to show you here if you want to control that uh, fader here you just right click you will uh, click the link to controller you will tweak the knob and voila it's pretty easy but if you want to control play button with this button I right click and nothing happens because these are special buttons and requires special handling here and it if you are if you are using uh, some kind of different or cheap or um, generic MIDI devices for other purposes you have to write Python script to handle these messages uh, it will be a long video and I will show you everything step by step first of all I have to uh, tell you uh, how can I figure it out uh, to handle these all these things uh, one or two weeks ago I uh, I found a forum message on reddit I guess someone mentioned something about uh, python handling and started to search um, about scripting on python and i found this this is uh, a website imageline.com uh, you may know this is uh, fl studio learning forum uh, especially about uh, midi scripting what is midi scripting uh, let's talk about this MIDI scripting is special Python file uh, writing uh, and or scripting a special Python file to handle MIDI messages to control special um, even special uh, functions to do that there is an instruction here but not um, it's not very clear you have to focus these steps and you have to write codes um, and it's it's not easy if you are not a programmer here but if you follow every single step you can uh, you can make your own controller um, controller script and let's jump to FL studio and let's see what is inside uh, first of all I click options MIDI settings uh, here is my MIDI, in MIDI input device uh, custom name controller type if this is um, a brand uh, branded MIDI device you can select your device but if it's not available on FL studio you have to write your scripts and select your script and then use FL Studio uh, however you want let's see I click play again it paused uh, I click here it stopped this button is here to mute that track and this is an ordinary button here how to do that yes uh, the heart the hardest part is starting now grab your coffee and focus here first of all um, you have to you have to jump to specific folder where is it it starts here jump to your computer's document image line FL studio settings hardware your script subfolder we will create folder here and we will name it uh, whatever you want 
and then step two we will create a script file it will be a text file and you will uh, file this uh, you will name this file like this you can change your script name uh, or what else and then uh, you have to uh, adjust your explorer settings to show uh, file extension because we will change that extension to py because it will be a python uh, it will be a python file and we have to open this file with uh, some kind of text editor i'm using notepad plus plus here uh, but you can use classic uh, windows not uh, windows uh, what is that Win Win windows notepad here and we will add uh, this line here it starts with hashtag hashtags meaning it's not a, a working code it's just a description and after writing this description here you will save uh, and open fl studio if you find your scripts name in fl studio you that mean you passed your second step after second step third step is changing the extension name i mentioned before we will change that uh, files extension to py here and then it will work as a python file uh, we will edit this file and we will edit a lot and fourth step select your script in the midi settings i showed you before uh, on fl studio options midi devices select your controller and then select controller type to your script and edit the script we will edit our script you can use uh, two options here option number one uh, is using fl studios uh, script editor here it's pretty easy and let's show you i can show you here let's jump to fl studio uh, options and i forgot it where is it ah it must be in uh view or options or tools uh, because i'm not using here let, 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 let's check this ah view view script output edit script okay view <laughs> i cannot find here Ah, script up output, output here okay this is my uh, script files output and I can edit my script here uh, yes my um, device uh, and custom Python what what else uh, I can write add or remove something from this file and I, I will I have to say and then I will reload my script. Uh, you can you can edit your file just using Apple Studio, but I am using Notepad plus plus. Okay, let's let's continue. What we gonna do with this file? We will add special functions. Uh, what are these? These are modules. We will import these uh, modules uh, what we need I'm using mixer and uh, transport modules here we will import modu modules here we will find out what is my uh, buttons MIDI message uh, and then we will uh, add this to our script okay now we have to look into our Python code what is happening here okay this is how uh how is my python code looks like first of all i am importing transport and mixer 
uh, modules. What is module? Module is um, um, that file or function list contains uh, a lot of a bunch of uh, compiled functions. So it makes much more easier to uh, write programs, writing codes here. For example, if I want to send to FL Studio play message, I first of all I have to call module um, name transport dot start, and that function will execute a, a lot of code in background, and it will send uh, FL Studio uh, to play message. Uh, I have some variables here play this song and this variable equals to 44 I will explain why this is 44 and there is a if block here if I press this button this button sends 44 message um, start FL studio play this song if I press stop key uh, it's here uh, it equals 45 uh, on my device and if I pressed stop key transport module executes stop function um, it says record key but I'm not I'm not using uh, this button for recording events I changed it to uh, mixer uh, mute function uh, in this case if I click this button uh, it's using mixer uh, module and executes mute track you can change all of these um, to your project and how can I find what is my MIDI controllers um, button messages in this case, we will use FL Studio again. Uh, I click MIDI settings. I, cho I choose my MIDI controller and it's working. So I have to see the role messages. So I'm using options debugging log. It's a tool that uh, shows what is happening uh, here um, in the Apple Studios engine. These are all the de debugging messages. And focus here. I will press this yellow first button here and I will see the messages. Okay. I press the button. Uh, it says 90. Uh, it's, just, it's a static uh, message about MIDI string. I will not explain this. Uh, I will focus here, the second one, to see. This is a hexadecimal value. And I will, uh, we will not use hexadecimal value. We will control this hexadecimal to decimal value. And then we will find the number 44. Uh, and you, you, you remember? I use 44 to play channel, to play um, file. I release the button and something happened again. Oops, nothing happens here. I will, I will open it again. Debugging log, okay. On, off, on, off. And um, you might notice this 90 and 80. 90 means note on, 80 means note off. I will copy this and paste it to the on online converter. You can easily write uh, hexadecimal to decimal converter online. Um, it, there, are, there are a lot of converters online you can find easily. And you will uh, capture your MIDI messages from debugging log here. And somehow it stops working. Oh yeah, uh, my second button's name is 2D, note on and note off. Third button is 2E. 
I I grab my numbers. I turn back to my uh, Python script here, and I will edit that numbers, and I can uh, use my buttons to control FL Studio. Okay, it's my Python file. What if you want to control something else on FL Studio? For example, um, what if you want to control your recording settings or uh, what if you what if you want to select track or control mixer events you have to read something more and I will explain it here I mentioned before there are a lot of uh, modules here and and that modules can um, that modules allows you to control a lot of things here. Uh, let's search something else. And also, it, this this page explains uh, something more. For example, note on note off um, is work based on event data module. You can select your track. Uh, you can uh, select what is selected, or you can change the names. You can uh, change the solo channel um, setting. Or let's find something more useful for me. Uh, uh -huh. Select all, deselect all, burn loop. Or you can jump to Q, jump to marker. Uh, you can move the jog, you can cut copy else and these are really useful uh, functions while uh, arranging some song or something else and you can uh, open your mixer channel or playlist or uh, what else media mapping uh, windows and these are all placed in user interface module here you just need to import that module and you just have to call that functions uh, you, you you know the uh, I just mentioned before I just I just ex explained here uh, if uh, data one if I press the record key do something that's all I guess I explained something uh, something enough to create and or edit a custom Python file if you want to do something else uh, you just need to uh, try to find uh, these control uh, functions and you just have to read uh, you know there's no uh, there's there's no enough uh, resource to edit that uh, Python file uh, it's work it's it's working really fine for me if you have any questions about this video or uh, something else please ask if I know if I can find I can answer it for you um, and you can offer me some kind of ideas I'm, uh, I'm pretty new about uh, Python scripting uh, about FL Studio uh, thanks for the watching if you like that video if it's useful please um, please like it and you can share and you can subscribe and and play music thanks for watching see you later okay that's all